Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to our Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone near a military base? So let's jump in. To begin with, let's talk about how the FAA categorizes military bases. Military bases in the United States are designated as Department of Defense National Security Sensitive Facilities and are covered by security sensitive airspace restrictions. These restrictions also apply to national landmarks like the Statue of Liberty and certain critical infrastructure such as nuclear power plants. In airspace apps like air control by aloft or autopilot, the airspace over military bases will be shown as DOD NSUFR, which means Department of Defense National Security UAS Flight Restrictions. NSUFRs, or NSERFs, cover sensitive security locations, usually belonging to the Department of Energy or Department of Defense, and they'll be shown in red on the airspace map. Per the FAA, operations are prohibited from the ground up to 400 feet AGL, and apply to all types and purposes of UAS flight operations. Now, NSERFs are a little different than special use airspace prohibited areas shown on aeronautical charts. Prohibited areas on aeronautical charts contain airspace of defined dimensions within which the flight of aircraft is prohibited, and they're shown on the chart as large capital characters starting with a P followed by a number. For example, P-40 is the area around Camp David in Maryland. As you'll see in airspace apps like Air Control, military bases are shown as NSERFs, which are restrictions. They will normally list an airspace manager's contact information and contain the words, no person may operate a small unmanned aircraft in restricted airspace unless that person has permission from the appropriate authority. Individuals violating any of these restrictions may be subject to FAA and or law enforcement action. You'll notice that the area around the military base may have grids with 100, 200, 300, or 400 similar to class B, C, D, or E airport areas, seemingly allowing you to get Lance approval for these areas. However, you'll also notice that the airspace information section will state Lance inactive under the UAS facility map item. This is because automated Lance will not work in this area and you must obtain airspace authorization through the FAA's drone zone website. So can you fly your drone near a military base? Well, possibly near it, but doubtfully over it. The area over a military base is a Department of Defense national security sensitive area and the area outside of that will normally be some form of controlled airspace that will not allow automated lance approval. Your pro tip is that if it's not a necessity, I would just avoid military bases altogether. If it is a necessity, you should be prepared to explain how you will safely operate your drone in the airspace around the base and plan ahead. These types of approvals can take quite some time and you may have to correspond back and forth to answer specific questions. Keep in mind that near a military base, the concern is not just airspace and human safety, but also national security, so you should be ready to address those items in your request. Let us know in the comments if you've had experience with requesting authorization near a military base, and if you have a Can I Fly My Drone question, so that we can cover it in a future video. Also hit the thumbs up button, and hit the subscribe and notification buttons to be notified of upcoming content. Thanks for watching, and from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you soon.